So coming up, transition to startup on Falcon 9. Falcon 9's in startup. So again, that means from here, Falcon 9 will begin to pressurize those tanks, the first stage and second stage tank, tanks with our pressure in for flight. All these go for launch. Great news from the launch director. Stage two press for flight. Giving their go for flight. So with that, just 30 seconds to go. Vehicle looking healthy. Looks like we may have just squeaked in T under the wind. Seconds and counting. Starlink satellites also continuing to look healthy. Why don't we listen in and watch terminal count? T minus 15 seconds. Falcon 9 is configured for flight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and liftoff. Pitching downrange. M1D chamber pressures are nominal. Forty seconds into flight, Falcon 9 successfully lifting off from Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. It's nominal. Carrying those 60 Starlink satellites into orbit. This particular booster lighting up the Florida coast for a seventh time. Now, uh, we just began throttling down those Merlin 1D engines for maximum dynamic pressure, or max Q. That's the point when the stresses on the vehicle are the highest from the combination of the vehicle speed and the density of the atmosphere. Max Q. And now that we're through the point of maximum dynamic pressure, the loads on the vehicle, the structural loads, are going to drop off as the density of the atmosphere continues to decrease. And Falcon 9 continuing to speed up. We're about a minute away from three events. First of those is main engine cutoff, or MECO. That's where we'll shut off those nine Merlin 1D engines. You can actually see the plume expanding from them on your, on your camera. We and shut those down. Uh, engine chill started. In preparation for stage separation, that's where the first and second stages will separate from each other. First stage continuing on a parabolic arc to make its way back to the drone ship, while the second stage continues on to the third event, second engine start number one. We actually just heard the call out there for uh, MVAC chill in beginning. So during that third event, second engine start one will ignite the Merlin vacuum engine that'll propel the second stage along with the Starlink satellites into an elliptical orbit. And we chill in those turbo pumps with uh, liquid oxygen just to get them ready for ignition. And Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Left hand side of your screen. Uh, ignition. First stage separating, second stage ignition. Love that green glow from the T tab ignition. Both vehicles back on their way. Coming up shortly, we'll expect to see fairing deployment off of the second stage. Look for that on the right hand side of your screen. Fairing separation confirmed. Beautiful shot there of those Starlink satellites. Finally getting to see space directly. We, uh, now that we're outside of the atmosphere, the, we don't need those fairing halves anymore, so we'll jettison back to Earth to recover them. As a reminder, we do have our recovery ships, Miss Chief and Ghost Searcher, waiting at the Atlantic to scoop up both of those fairing halves.
on the left hand side of your screen there, we saw the very last remnants of night lights visible off the Florida coast. That was a pretty awesome sight there as Falcon 9 lifted off. Now there we can see second stage with a healthy glow there on the MVAC engine. As second stage heads towards its targeted drop off orbit, the first stage will execute two burns in order to make its way back to Earth. Now, if you happen to have followed along with our most recent launch on this past Saturday, where we launched out of Vandenberg Air Force Base, Bermuda. we performed three maneuvers in that instance uh, because we were returning to launch site where we were landing the first stage back on land. Tonight, we are landing on the drone ship, as Shiva said before, of course, I still love you. So we only need to perform two maneuvers because we are continuing the arc trajectory of the first stage. So. That first burn is the entry burn, and we will reignite three of the nine M1D engines at the base of the first stage. And this will help to slow that stage down as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. And then the second burn is the landing burn. This is a single engine burn that brings the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to make a soft landing on, a nominal on the drone ship. So we heard there that the vehicle's on nominal trajectory. That's good, good news there. At this point in time, the first stage um, has reached Apogee and is now starting its trip back down to the ocean. Our drone ship is parked a couple hundred miles off the coast of Florida in the Atlantic Ocean. It is, as you saw, a nighttime launch and unfortunately, uh, we can't really see anything, so we're, we don't have very good first stage footage to show you at this point in time. But we will bring that back in once we get some landing um, burn action, uh, re-entry burn action. Checking in on second stage, everything continues to look good. The 60 Starlink satellites that are on board today are joining the constellation of nearly 900 that we've already placed on orbit. These satellites are designed to provide high speed, low latency internet to folks like us here on Earth. And this is especially helpful to, for places where good internet is hard to access. First stage is continuing to coast and it uses nothing but grid fins for that steering as well as occasional nitrogen gas bursts for attitude control. Stage one FTS is saved. So on your left hand side of the screen, yes, yeah, we will see the entry burn Stage beginning. Entry burn startup. And entry burn has begun. And this will last for about another 20 seconds. Again, this is the first of two maneuvers that the first stage will perform tonight. Stage one, entry burn shut down. And shut down of first stage entry burn. So stage that two burn continues to follow a nominal trajectory. That burn was designed to slow the booster down significantly as it re-enters the upper part of the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. The next maneuver will be the landing burn, and it is the final one where we reignite just one single Merlin engine to make a soft landing on top of the drone ship. As we mentioned earlier, this is the seventh. One, entry transonic. Uh, we just heard that the booster is now transonic as it is re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. As I was saying, this is the seventh successful launch for this booster and this, that will make this the seventh recovery attempt. Everything's continuing to look good there on the second stage. The stage MVAC, two terminal guidance. MVAC engine has begun to throttle stage down. Landing burn startup. There we heard the call out that landing burn has begun, so we should see that come into the screen here just momentarily. Stage two FTS is saved. Stage one, landing leg deploy. Landing legs have deployed, here it comes. <laughs> All right. 
And for the seventh time, this Falcon has landed. This marks our 61st successful recovery of a Falcon 9 first stage. And we have Seiko. And as the smoke clears, we can get a good view there. And we just heard the call out that we had Seiko 1, or second engine cut off 1. So at this point in time, Insertion. and there we heard, heard the call out that we have good orbit for that second stage. So now that stage two is, uh, it's going to coast in this orbit for a few minutes. During this time, it will start to spin along its central axis, giving the Starlink satellites the momentum that they need to space themselves out over time as they deploy. So we're going to take a quick break here, uh, but we will be returning at T plus 14 minutes, so stick around. Expected loss of signal, Cape. 